Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Saya Pertamanya Mengucapkan selamat Raya Adil Fitri Kepada semua Yang sempat hadir ke perjumpaan kita Pada petang ini Dan uh, saya ucapkan Banyak-banyak terima kasih Kepada sahabat-sahabat saya Dato' Khalid Dato' Johari Gani dan lain-lain Kerana berkesempatan meluangkan masa untuk bersama dalam perjumpaan kita Dan kepada members of the press Thank you very much Terima kasih banyak, -banyak. Untuk memulakan perjumpaan kita ini Saya dengan izin nak baca satu statement Supaya tidak akan timbul keraguan uh, ataupun kesiapan mana-mana dalam keadaan yang kita hadapi okay. sekarang. Okay. Okay. Apa dengar dia? Kan yeah. here. Muhammad Magus Mahmaskul the Mountain. Okay. Terima kasih. Hedingnya menawar diri sebagai calon presiden AMNO. Selepas meneliti kedudukan AMNO dan menghalusi akan implikasi keputusan yang dibuat terutamanya mengenai perkara berkaitan dengan soal kepimpinannya saya dengan segala rendah diri sambil memanjatkan kesyukuran khadrat Allah Subhanahu wa taala menawar diri untuk bertanding sebagai presiden AMNO Saya membuat keputusan ini demi kepentingan AMNO sebagai sebuah pertubuhan politik nasional yang mendokong hasrat kebangsaan untuk menjunjung perpaduan kaum dan keharmonian ras sebagai gelaga dan trust negara sebagai sebuah parti politik kaya dengan pengalaman saya yakin akan dapat memimpin AMNO untuk meneruskan tradisi tersebut Di samping itu saya bercadang untuk memastikan UMNO dapat memainkan peranan sebagai pembangkang setia Bagi bertanggungjawab terhadap negara yang sedang mengorak langkah Ke persada dunia sebagai sebuah negara maju Pun begitu sebagai pemimpin UMNO saya akan terus menjaga dengan sepenuh hati akar umbi parti yang berasaskan kepada perjuangan melindungi budaya dan warisan Melayu yang cuba dipermudahkan oleh penjajah selepas Perang Dunia Kedua. Di sebaliknya, kami akan terus menghormati hakikat kepelbagaian kaum yang kita warisi untuk memastikan keharmonian kaum terjaga Kami akan terus memupuk dan menjaga sifat liberal ini Demi memastikan Malaysia dihormati Sebagai contoh baik mengenai keharmonian kaum Dalam pada itu, UMNO sensitif terhadap realiti politik Pasca PRU 14 dan sudah pasti akan menyesuaikan diri demi memastikan kami akan terus relevan. Bagi maksud ini, AMNO di bawah kepimpinan saya akan memuat akan memuat perubahan akan membuat perubahan penyesuaian jika lau dianggap perlu. Kita dapat dinafikan bahawa sebagai sebuah demokrasi, Malaysia kini telah mencapai tahap kematangan yang membanggakan. Kematangan politik ini memerlukan pemimpin matang politik. Begitu juga halnya dengan UMNO. Sebagai pengamal politik aktif Sejak menjadi ahli AMNO pada tahun 1962 Tidaklah keterlaluan Sekiranya saya katakan bahawa 
saya amat faham akan selok belok politik kepartian dan politik di peringkat kebangsaan kepada saya ini merupakan satu-satunya ujian sekiranya seseorang itu ingin menawar dirinya bagi tugas kepimpinan tagline yang saya dinasihat kita guna ialah ikhlaskan jiwa mertabatkan maruah itu saja terima kasih kalau ada apa-apa nak tanya saya boleh jawab lah satu dua yang saya fikir saya boleh jawab Pasri ada team up dengan dengan pemimpin-pemimpin uh, apa lah Deputi siapa yang you prefer? Sekarang kita dua kan Tok Mak dengan uh, Anwar Musa Ya kita tak ada tak ada buat apa-apa pakatan Semuanya team Amno. So you don't have any sir? Sorry sir So you don't have any of your president's men in your line up and all that processing? Well a lot of them are going to contest by offering themselves for the election in this forthcoming election on the 30th year. So we will we will help each other and make sure that we all get in to serve the party. If you win, will you uh, will Amno <coughs> work with MCA, MIC and what is the future of the end? What do you think? Well, as far as I know, we are still members of Barisan National and all of them are component party members. But we have not yet up to this point discussed with them the future. But what do you think should be the future? I think the future should be uh, a, a stronger relationship of parties that have become our component parties so long as they are mutually beneficial to, to our, uh, our struggle. And who, what, is, uh, what are your advantages to win over Tatukri Sahib? Well, Dr. Najib has resigned. Hmm. Right. Zahid, 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 Zahid. Oh, Dr. Zahid. Well, we have not discussed that either. But what, what, how do you, uh, what do you think that you, you can gain the support of the Amnos member against the Zahid? Because Zahid What do you think? Tak ada dia dia jumpa saya selepas dia mengambil alih jawatan sebagai naik presiden yang memang tu jawatan presiden. Saya sudah datuk Sri Naji meletak jawatan. Uh, memberitahu saya itulah kedudukannya yang 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 baru. Jadi saya kata baguslah jalan kalah mengikut objektif dan tujuan kami. And Tengku, if you win, will you sack Datuk Sri Najib from Amno? Why should I do that? <laughs> to reform the party. Unless, unless there unless there's something grossly wrong somewhere. Uh, you will hear about that. Okay. I'm alone at the moment. I have to discuss with all my my colleagues after we are all elected. Sir, sir are you confident in uh, of, uh, restoring back Amno's uh, credibility and all the allegations that have been made? That's why, that's why we are here, making this offer for the position in the party because we are very confident that we can restore not only the credibility but also the leading position of the party in the country. After all, for the time being and for the moment, we are the single biggest representation in parliament as a party. Who are you endorsing any of the two deputy president candidates? Between Datuk Sri Anang Musa and uh, Datuk Sri Muhammad Hassan? Well, I said just now we are working as a team. We are, we are working as as members, offering ourselves to the members. For the future of Amno, do you see Amno working uh, with PAS, some sort of alliance with PAS? Let's get to the let's cross the bridge when we get to it. Uh, thank you. Thank you. If if uh, two <coughs> members, you know, who are unsure about voting for Datuk Sri Zaid and voting for you, 
what will you say to them? You know, vote for me instead of Zaid. What will you say to an AMNO member? Can, can we think? To an AMNO member who has to choose between that to three Zaid and you as president, what will you say? What? Well, vote for me. <laughs> the obvious thing will be vote for me <laughs> or for my friends. You know? right. But why, why, why should they vote for you instead of Datu Sri Zayed? Datu Sri Zayed you know, has been uh, a deputy president. He's been there for uh, well, a long time. People are demanding a change now. Sir, so sir. we must bring about change. So I know we mean part of Barisai uh, Nation's strongest opposition in Parliament. And well, I've answered that question and yeah. I've uh, read in this statement but what it implies. But will you in any way consider working with the Pakistan Harapan government? Well, we will work. We will work with, with them on the platforms that we think would be beneficial to the people. Itulah saya kata saya tak dapat nak nyatakan sekarang sehingga pemilihan ini selesai dijalankan dan saya mesti runding dengan kawan-kawan saya. Dulunya kita mengamalkan top down, praktis top down. Maksudnya dari atas kita kita harap orang bawah ikut dan itulah amalan setakat ini. Dan kita nak ubah itu, seperti yang diaksas UMNO dahulu iaitu kita nak dengar pandangan daripada bawah sebelum kita membuat keputusan kecuali benda itu mustahak diputuskan segera kerana keadaan-keadaan memaksakan kita berbuat demikian That's why I'm here <laughs> we are quite confident but it's up to the members to decide there is some, some talk saying that uh, Zahid is offering the parliamentary opposition leader in exchange for you not to contest the party presidency. Is that true? I have not heard anything so far. Will you be um, no, if you win, will you be um, no, um, oppos will you be opposition leader in parliament? I think that's up to parliament to decide. Okay. Well, there are numerous, numerous uh, supporters coming from all over the country. I cannot uh, detail to you what are the divisions and how many altogether. But it seems to be rather spontaneous. Before I came down to meet with all of you just now, there were so many phone calls that were coming through. You were to the ballpark figure? 191? Meaning none are in support of Datuk Sri Najib? Meaning none are in support of Datuk Sri Najib? in support of you? Meaning all are in support of you? And not Datuk Sri Najib? I presume so. Tukul-tukul kan pergi ke Stan Agri tu tu campaign untuk sehingga tu keluarkan tu. Kita kena lah keadaan. Tengku, Tengku, adakah Datuk Sunajib ada yang nyatakan sokongan kepada Tengku? Saya tak tanya dia, dan dia pun tak zahir. Sir, when are you submitting your application? Okay, alright, thank you very much.